A simple waitress was framed by the restaurant manager on the day of the owner's visit. But when she takes off her coat to prove that she has nothing to hide, what the millionaire sees leaves with no reaction. Kelly arrived at the luxury restaurant where she worked part-time on a cold, rainy morning. The young woman, with her drenched coat and wet hair, tried to keep warm as she walked through the elegant doors of the establishment. Good morning. She greeted, trying to convey a positive energy despite the gray weather. The staff who had arrived, including Jade, the arrogant manager who thought she was better than everyone, barely responded to her. To them, Kelly was just a waitress, someone who didn't deserve their attention or respect. Even though she felt the looks of superiority on her, she was determined, because she knew that this job was her only source of income. Come on, Kelly, she thought to herself. You just have to make it through one more day. She repeated it every day, so much so that it became her daily mantra, a way of strengthening herself to face the challenges and hostile atmosphere of the restaurant. Despite the pressure and constant humiliation, the waitress had no intention of giving up. Every day was a battle, but she was determined to persevere. The only person she felt comfortable working with was Angelo, the owner of the establishment. He was known for his kindness, a rare exception in the often oppressive environment. And that day, there was a special buzz in the restaurant. Angelo was on his way for an inspection and lunch, which made all the staff, especially Jade, anxious and rushed to make sure everything was perfect. Come on, Kelly, you little- shouted the manager, ordering the young woman to hurry. Angelo is almost here and we want this- she said with a tone of authority that bordered on arrogance. The girl just obeyed, organizing plates, adjusting trays, and positioning glasses with precision. She moved efficiently, despite the pressure and the critical stares. Wow, you're- Jade shouted in front of everyone, even though she could see the waitress struggling. The young woman felt humiliated but kept her composure. It was clear that the manager was doing everything to belittle her, taking every opportunity to criticize and embarrass Kelly in front of her colleagues. But beyond that, this poor girl could never have imagined what awaited her that day. The meeting with Angelo, a man she respected and admired, would bring revelations that would change her life forever. So Kelly, focused on her work, organized every detail in the luxury restaurant, setting the tables according to Jade's instruction. As she arranged the cutlery and lined up the tablecloths, her thoughts wandered to the millionaire who owned the restaurant. Angelo doesn't strike me as such a petty man, she reflected. He's always given such a good impression the other times he's been here. Jade is just an ass kisser, that's all. She remembered previous visits from the owner, a 56-year-old businessman who, despite his wealth, was surprisingly humble and kind to everyone. During his last visit, the waitress and he talked a lot, developing an almost instant connection. It was as if there was an innate familiarity between them, something Kelly attributed to her own humility, reflecting her humble origins and lonely life since the loss of her mother. The girl, who was only 25, stood out among the restaurant staff. She had gotten the waitress job by pure luck, after her predecessor had resigned due to pregnancy. Before that, she worked as a cleaner. Jade, the manager, had offered her the job more out of necessity, as she needed a replacement quickly than out of her own desire. She was a shallow and haughty woman, and had obvious contempt for the poor waitress. In her shallow mind, Kelly didn't possess the necessary beauty to work in such a refined environment. Jade, always concerned with appearance and status, saw the boss's visit as a golden opportunity not only for her promotion, but also to get rid of the young woman. This visit, I need to impress the rich guy. She planned, obsessed with the idea of getting a promotion. But there was another plan on her mind, the girl's dismissal. For the manager, Kelly wasn't, shall we say, pretty enough for the luxury of the restaurant, and she was determined to find a way to fire her without facing any resistance. Jade knew that she couldn't just fire Kelly for aesthetic reasons, so she plotted a dismissal for cause, something that was indisputable and that would take place in Angelo's presence. That ugly little waitress is leave my restaurant once and- thought the cruel woman, plotting her plan with an evil smile. Unfortunately, most of the staff, equally arrogant and presumptuous, agreed with her perspective. They saw Kelly as someone who didn't fit the profile of the establishment and supported the idea of her leaving. The young woman, oblivious to the plots against her, continued her work with dedication, unaware that that day would bring impactful twists and turns in her life. As the millionaire's limousine pulled up in front of the restaurant, a frenzy ran through the place. Customers who had lunch there and the staff themselves stopped their activities, turning their curious gazes to the man's luxurious entrance. Angelo, with his usual charisma, crossed the hall, greeting everyone warmly. Good afternoon, my friends. Is everyone well? He asked, 
radiating an aura of kindness that contrasted with the often pretentious atmosphere of the place. Jade, always looking for attention, quickly stepped forward to welcome him with forced cordiality. Ah, uh, sir, please come this way. We've reserved the best table. She said, trying to cover her ambition with a fake smile. Kelly, with a tray of glasses in hand, approached to serve the owner. When she was recognized by him, she felt slightly relieved. Ah, uh, hello, Kelly. Long time, huh? Greeted the man with a warm smile. The young woman replied just as kindly, telling him that she would be responsible for serving him that day. However, the conversation was abruptly interrupted by Jade, who announced with false concern, Oh, actually, Kelly will be off today. We gave her vacation. Both the girl and Angelo were surprised by the unexpected news. The manager justified it by saying that the waitress deserved a break because of her hard work. She's been working two years and never wanted to. We think she's well deserved. can go, Kelly, said Jade, practically pushing the girl out of the room. Kelly felt a little disoriented and disappointed at not being able to interact more with the owner, headed for the kitchen. She put her apron away, put on her coat, and got ready to leave. But first, she decided to say goodbye to Angelo, after all. She didn't know how soon she would see him again after her vacation. She remembered his previous visits. On the first, she had only observed from a distance as she was new to the job and Jade hadn't even let her near the man's table. On the second time, the waiter responsible for serving the millionaire fell ill. And the young woman, seeing that everyone was worried about the businessman's image, didn't get upset and replaced the unwell waiter. The way she treated and talked to Angelo that day made such a positive impression on him that the rich man told the manager that whenever he visited his restaurant, he would always want Kelly to serve him. Jade was furious, but held her ground. She hated Angelo's preference for Kelly and saw that day's visit as the perfect opportunity to get rid of the waitress. As she picked up her things, Kelly couldn't help thinking how unfair the situation was. She felt grateful for the job opportunity, but Jade's constant hostility and the condescension of the other employees weighed heavily on her. Now, suddenly dismissed for vacation, Kelly felt a mixture of relief and sadness. Relief, because she really was tired of her exhausting job, but sadness, because Jade could just as well have left it to announce her vacation after the owner's visit was over, couldn't she? Then, with her coat on, she quickly returned to the lounge to say a simple farewell. Her heart was beating fast, a mixture of nervousness and the expectation of one last interaction with the only person in the restaurant who showed her genuine respect. But at that moment, as she approached the man, Kelly was far from imagining what that encounter had in store for her future an unexpected turn of events was about to change her whole life. The girl arrived at the table where the man was sitting. Well, Mr. Angelo, I'm leaving. I hope you'll come more often. Your presence is always very good here in the restaurant, she said, trying to hide her disappointment at having to leave work early. The businessman wished the girl a happy vacation, but Jade told the waitress to go. Okay, okay, you can go, Kelly, she said, barely disguising her irritation at the obvious connection between her and the owner. However, just as Kelly was about to leave, the situation took an unexpected turn. An employee, who was plotting with the manager, rushed into the room with some alarming news. Sorry to bother you, Mrs. Jade and Mr. Angelo, but we have a problem. We, we've been robbed. The clerk revealed that around $400 had disappeared from the cash register. The accusation echoed through the restaurant, causing a stir among those present. The rich man, surprised by the interruption, was stunned by the situation. Even Kelly, who was already leaving, stopped to listen and was shocked. It was exactly what Jade wanted. The manager, seizing the moment, turned to the waitress with a disdainful expression. Oh, but wait a minute, Kelly. You were already leaving like that. She said, hinting at something in her tone. What's in your cup? Sorry? He asked, appalled and offended. Do you think I robbed the restaurant? Jade, acting as if she were indignant, challenged Kelly in front of everyone. Then show us your pockets if you have nothing to- The girl, disgusted and aware of that hateful woman's antipathy, began to take off her coat, protesting, I didn't steal anything. Angela watched the scene, intrigued and surprised. However, when the young woman took off her coat, his expression changed radically. His eyes widened, and he seemed to go into shock. How, how is that possible? He muttered softly, staring at Kelly. Meanwhile, Jade insisted that the waitress show her the pockets, and the young woman, still trying to prove her innocence, began to rummage through them. See? There's nothing here. Just then, the poor girl turned pale when she found the $400 inside pocket. 
But before we continue with the story, we want to know, if you were in this waitress's shoes, what would you do? Let us know in the comments. Now back to the story. She panicked. I, I didn't do anything. It wasn't me, I swear. Stuttered Kelly, her eyes wide with fear. The cretinous woman, pretending to be furious, accused Kelly of stealing. How could you do that, girl? With us, who gave you it? You really are a sn I always knew you were. The girl, almost in tears, tried to defend herself, but Jade interrupted her, mocking her situation. Ah, uh, so you're saying that someone put that in your- She said sarcastically. So the manager turned to the millionaire, ready to deliver the final blow. I don't think we have any- We have to fire her. But the man, still shocked, remained paralyzed, staring at Kelly. Mr. Angela? Jade called out to him again, noticing that he was a little shocked. The restaurant owner was still unresponsive, as if he had seen a ghost. The businessman, with tears in his eyes, stood up and walked slowly towards Kelly. The girl, already shaken by the humiliation and desperate at the prospect of losing her job, just repeated that she hadn't done anything and begged him to believe her. But he remained silent. He just kept walking towards her, and not only the waitress but everyone present couldn't understand the millionaire's strange reaction. The young woman's eyes, filled with tears, reflected a mixture of fear and confusion. The entire restaurant watched the scene, perplexed and curious. What's going on? Why is he like this? They thought, watching Angelo approach her. Then he gently touched Kelly's arm, and in a trembling voice asked, This, this mark, dear, is it a birthmark? The question, apparently unconnected to the situation, silenced the room. The waitress, surprised by the unexpected question, stopped crying for a moment. She had a mark on her arm. But what did that have to do with what was happening? Yes, sir, it is, she replied, still not understanding the man's sudden interest in her mark. Angelo asked another intriguing question. Did your mother have one too? She frowned as if thinking. What? She answered. Yes, but why the question, Mr. Angelo? Aren't you going to fire me? Kelly asked, her voice laced with emotion. The businessman took a step back, his emotions overflowing. Tears streamed down his face leaving everyone even more confused. Jade, in particular, didn't understand anything that was happening. With a shaky voice and watery eyes, the owner of the luxury restaurant asked his last question. Kelly, is your mother's name Christine Johnson? The mention of her mother's name, who had recently passed away, made the girl start crying again. Yes. She said, her voice laden with pain. Then Angelo made a revelation that left everyone in the restaurant shocked. I'm your father, Kelly. What? How is this millionaire the father of an ugly girl like Kelly? She let out, unable to hide her surprise. But how was that possible? It turned out that the story of that man and the waitress was much more connected than anyone could have imagined. He had always been a wealthy young man, heir to a large chain of luxury restaurants. Christine, on the other hand, was the daughter of the maid in the mansion where Angelo lived. The two of them grew up together and fell in love, sharing a genuine and deep love. Christine had a birthmark on her arm, which the boy nicknamed the love mark, as it had a peculiar shape that resembled a heart. The young couple planned to marry, but when Angelo's father found out about their romance, he fired Christine's mother and ruthlessly threw them out of the mansion. He couldn't bear the thought of seeing his son, who could marry a woman of nobility and have a bright future, end up with just a maid's daughter. But what the man didn't know was that the girl was pregnant and young Angelo wanted to build a family with Christine and raise their baby together. When he got home that day and learned that his father had evicted his beloved, he panicked. And even though he told the old man about the pregnancy, that he was going to have a grandchild, the man was relentless, saying the cruelest words the boy had ever heard. That's better. At least now she can't ask for alimony. I don't want to support a poor girl just because you couldn't take care of yourself. Poor Christine, on the other hand, faced a life of struggles after being thrown out of the mansion. She and her mother found refuge in a homeless shelter, living in the saddest poverty. Yet the girl never stopped loving and caring for Kelly. The only reason she didn't look for her lover again was because of the threats she received from Angelo's father. Kelly grew up very humble, and when she was 23, she started working as a cleaner in one of her father's restaurants without knowing her true identity. At 24, she became a waitress, and when she spoke to Angelo for the first time, the natural connection the two had was justifiable. Fate wanted to bring them back together from the start. However, life had been cruel to the girl, taking her mother from her life due to pneumonia just over two months ago. And in that moment of discovery, she and the millionaire mourned Christine's death. But somehow, Kelly could now find a new beginning at her father's side. Jade, 
still in a state of shock and indignation, tried to insist on the accusation of theft against Kelly. But she stole $400. She exclaimed, desperate to maintain her narrative. But the man wasn't naive and said with authority, She didn't steal anything. She's the humblest person I know, and she's my daughter. I'm sure you set this up. I want to see the cameras. The businessman's demand left the manager completely terrified. And with the review of the security recordings, the truth was exposed. Jade and the employee conspired against the waitress, and he put the money in the girl's jacket. So Angelo made quick and firm decision. Jade and her accomplice were immediately fired, and the owner announced a general reform of the restaurant. He wanted to transform the working environment, looking for people who shared his daughter's grace and humility. He also promoted Kelly to manager, recognizing her potential and wanting her to lead his legacy. She also became heir to all the other establishments in the chain. Over the next few months, the two spent a lot of time together, getting to know each other better and strengthening their bond as father and daughter. Kelly moved into the mansion, where they both worked to make up for lost time. Despite their sadness at Christine's death, they kept her memory alive, honoring her love and sacrifice. Together with her father, she found not only a new home, but also a new purpose. Together, they remodeled the restaurant and other businesses, creating a more welcoming and humane working environment. And they learned that even in the face of life's adversities and disagreements, there is always room for hope and the rediscovery of family love. And if you like this story, I'm sure the next video that pops up on your screen will move you too. Don't forget to subscribe, give us a thumbs up, and activate the notification bell so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. See you in the next heartwarming story.